All right, so we're back to the only game where you can turn an entire state into one giant slum and then utilize the organs of all the dead people to fund the economy. It's Florida as represented in City Skylines. City Skylines is a game that doesn't give a damn about limitations and what few limitations there are, you can simply mod away. So I've made it so that the amount of people and buildings and everything else that you can have on a map is completely unlimited. The last time I unlimited the cars and broke the game and my processor. But this time I want to fill the entire map up with living spaces, the worst kind. Then I wanna see if this game can handle the amount of death and destitution that it is going to bring. There ain't enough Bud Light in all Southeast America to feed as many people as I'm gonna shove in here. First things first though, this name ain't gonna work. Population Zero, face unhappy. This game already knows what's about to happen. Run away. I feel like in a state-sized shantytown, we need to take reckless driving and move it up to Path of Evil. Whoever named this deserves a medal. It really doesn't matter what kind of roads everyone gets because they're gonna hate their life no matter what, but they're sure as hell not gonna get the trees. Congratulations, you get asphalt and concrete. I'm actually impressed at how well this is coming out. I should have been drunk before doing this. Now, as usual, in order to connect these and not ruin the beauty that we have created, you have to send the roads down to hell. A Little bit of that. Honestly, everyone needs to take a vacation to hell at some point. <laughs> I like how it's like distance too short. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me get down to the middle of the earth first. See, it kind of looks like uh, bullet holes inside of the planet. That's actually very appropriate for Florida. Low density residential zones attract families with children and will evolve into fancy villas. No way in hell. Give me the high density slums. All right, now that we have our main hub of sadness, I need to connect all these roads together so that I can have housing going throughout the entire map. Literally one minute later. Oh, I can already feel part of my sanity leaving me. I swear to God, you bastards better be happy. There's so many roads for you to choose from. If you don't hear from me after this upload, it's because my graphics card probably killed me. Now don't worry, we're gonna get all this on the outside too. I just need a basic area here in the middle first. I feel like the path of evil wouldn't have stoplights like this, but it's fine. All right, let me just make sure it works. All residential. Ah, you fools. Oh, buildings are going up already. I like how everyone's like, we need power, we need water. It's raining, there's plenty of water coming down from the sky, you whiny bastards. All right, so if we want to make everyone as sick as possible, I'm just going to make alternating drains perfect. <laughs> there, everyone loves wind turbines. You ever wanted a wind turbine right in your parking lot? There, don't mind me, just driving up the property value over here. Yeah, this is starting to look like the city Satan would make after his wife took everything in the divorce. I feel like I was making these too patterned. Just do a little bit of that there. There we go. Even though the smoke is a bit icky, a crematorium will save a lot of space in the city. The crematorium only gets what's left after we take all the good organs. See this gigantic line of cars? This is how many people don't understand what's happening here. <laughs> ah, screw it, I'm just gonna connect them like this. They'll figure it out. See, I'm weeding out everyone who doesn't know how to get to the store and buy food. It's like Darwinism, only slightly more demonic. It's like a de demonism. This is turning into a state where someone would be like, yeah, which side of the tracks do you live on? And the person would be like, yes. Oh God, all right, we're getting there. When I finally saw a runaway in sight, uh, I knew I was almost at the halfway point. I'm even gonna get a little bit of overlap here. We wanna really stuff as many human meat bags into these areas as possible. It's not gonna be easy to get into the state though. We're gonna have a uh, like a test that people have to take. They're gonna be graded on the quality of their meat, <laughs> like a cow. Be like, yeah, this one's 90-10. People pay big money for them uh, 97 three organs. I don't wanna screw up the run. So when I do this here, I can put that maybe like that there. That's no good, that looks too professional. How about there we go. There's nothing I enjoy more than watching people drive on a road that doesn't actually exist. I like how you can see through this area and you can see the other roadway. 
caves that go down to the core of the earth in the background. There we go. Get these ones here. Oh, that looks safe. I love it. <laughs> When I changed the type of road, this dude in his camper with his like 40 year old wife are now 30 feet off the ground. They're catching air. Well, we did say that the roads are going to be the path of evil. Oh, safety first. I feel like my city manager would be like, for the love of God, stop. This is the most inefficient nightmare. This is like the city designing version of finger painting. It's like your eight year old son designs a city and you're like, God damn it. He got until the asphalt again. All right. I think that right there is a pretty good start. Don't you worry. You bastards are going to have plenty of water. It's just going <laughs> to taste like sewage, which uh, it's kind of a real thing in Florida. All right. I think it'll be more efficient if I just line up like this and then go like this. All right. There is a somewhat good possibility uh, that I have provided water for almost the entire state. If I'm wrong, I don't know. I mean, people grow stronger from hardship. All right, need plenty more power. We don't use power lines here. They're not environmentally safe. Mostly, I just want to see where these end up when people start moving in. All right, now we get to do some coloring. Uh, sure. That there. Looks like football face paint. You know, it's a good time when the game takes like 30 seconds to, just to change from the different tabs. All right, yeah, I might want to save here. Oh, I missed some spots. We'll take care of that in a little bit. All right, where's the legalized marijuana button? They're going to need that. There we go. Oh, yeah. See, people are just flocking in here. I'm already at uh, 10 FPS. This is going to be great. Yeah, everyone, come on in. There's plenty of room to put up your low-income housing. I like how in the center of the state here, there's like one single building. Oh, hey, this is actually really appropriate. It's a meat factory. This is where the city makes its money. All right, well, you're all happily going on your way there. Do a little bit of this. Gonna want to get that outer perimeter here. All right, yeah, traffic seems to be flowing nicely. There, you guys want some more street lights? Gotta get right to that white line there. There we go. See, I'm alleviating traffic congestion. All right, cool, filled it up. Everyone's complaining about the garbage. I would fix it, but it takes me a while after I click on anything. Not gonna lie, you garbage guys are gonna be making your paycheck. God, look at all the crime and disease. All right, the amount of abandoned buildings is really starting to go up. That's what I wanna see. I wanna take this opportunity to walk downtown at a lovely 8 FPS here as the game is really starting to get pissed off at me. All the pressure washing in the world isn't gonna take away the amount of mold the city has in it. As everyone drives into like the downtown commercial area where all the buildings just have all their billboards broken down and all the glass shattered, all these people, like these little kids are like, where are we daddy? And the father's like, we're in hell son, don't look. Avert your eyes. The flaming ring used to be a hot spot for all the locals. That was until the plague moved in. God, the roadways are just nonstop traffic. There's nothing quite like putting the outtake right next to the intake so everyone gets to enjoy that sweet flavored water. I like how happy everyone is inside of this house, especially when you look around and they're just surrounded by shambles. Everyone has their beach chairs up here so that they can have a beautiful view of poverty. People begging for change under the bridge. Actually, you know what? There's no bridges, hold on. There, y'all don't deserve just any old bridge. You need something that really tests your will to live as a human being. I like how Piper Alexander is an educated teen and she's biking up this bridge. <laughs> See, it's the Institute of Creative Arts. She's like, this seems pretty creative. <laughs> Just wants to get a closer look before she dies. This ambulance is transporting a patient. If the back doors open up, they're gonna slide right down into the populace. God, driving over the... <laughs> Right through a building. I was gonna say, driving over that bridge makes me car sick damn near. Look at how many ambulances there are. You, you think you're gonna be able to take care of all of the filth and death that I've created? There's no way in hell. Just filling up the rest of the space here. 
waiting for the game to finally just stop working. Oh yeah, there we go. That looks safe right there. I right, got some prime waterside real estate there. I know someone's gonna wanna live out here. All right, we're down to six FPS now. We're really starting to get there. This needs to be in a textbook or something next to Florida. Plaza with trees. Where's the plaza without trees? Nah, eh, close enough. Okay, one of my big goals has been fulfilled now. This is an entire street where every single area is taken up by buildings and all of them are abandoned. <laughs> Looks like this entire city got hit by the fecal tornado. The girl over here is selling carbonated hepatitis. Wow, I can't believe the real estate place went out of business. You can tell when I slowly start going insane because I needed to fill in this little area here, so I just made a squiggly line. It's for when you want to test out your suspension. Nothing like using the free camera mode to catch the horror that has become Florida. I think this was an important building that's on fire too. Oh, people are still using my bridge, that's awesome. The delectable bilge water still floweth. Come on guys, if you wanna get through this traffic, you gotta be aggressive or sometimes you just need to float in the air. What in the hell is going on here? I don't know what's happening, but I like it. Oh, they just have to ramp on. <laughs> through the air when they're crossing the intersection. Oh, this game has worked out perfectly. Sometimes they just go through the ground as well. I like how they're like, yeah, it's faster to get to hell if you go nose first into the pavement. You gotta play bumper cars in my city in order to get anywhere. Oh, at this point, in order to do anything in the game at all, it takes me about uh, three minutes to click on an option. All right, I gotta start getting rid of the evidence over here. There we go. That'll fix everything. <laughs> gotta sterilize this after all the disease that we've been spreading. <laughs> so I just spawned like 200 meteors and the game completely <laughs> crashed. I like how you can be over here getting your tasty noodles, which somehow this one single building says it's open. I think it's a lie. And then you look to your left and you see this. Well, I can't even play the game anymore. It can't get out of the pause screen. I think that it was a success. You know that you've made a fantastic city when cars are parked half inside of the grass and inside of the sidewalk. That poor child from before is like, Daddy, it's so dark. I think this is a uh, perfect place to leave off. Anyway, folks. Hope you enjoyed this episode of City Skylines. <laughs> Till next time, stay foxy and much love.